G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Today's Easter egg is actually incredibly simple to make, but it also looks very effective and tastes delish. So join me today as I make my version of a swirly chocolate Easter egg. Okay, so we're going to start this off by melting our chocolate. So I've got some white chocolate buttons here, and I'm going to place them into the microwave for 30 seconds at a time, stirring them each time until they're ready. Okay, so this egg decorating will work for just about any size mold that you can think of. Now this is just a small one. Now I got this just by buying an actual Easter egg. So this is actually the wrapper from the Easter egg that I'm using. So I'm just recycling normal materials. So by using our white chocolate on a teaspoon, we're just going to just drip it like so. Just make a rough pattern. Okay, so you don't need to overdo it. Just splash some white, awesome dark chocolate if you like. All around, just keep it simple and we're going to place this in the fridge for about 10 minutes to set. Now next I have some chocolate chips. Now you can use dark chocolate or milk chocolate. I'll leave that completely up to you. And we're going to place it in for 30 seconds, stirring it each time after 30 seconds until it's completely melted. Okay, so we have our molds out of the fridge. So now I'm going to put on about a teaspoon worth of our chocolate. And using a brush, we're just going to brush up all the edges, just like so. Okay, so once it's all brushed on, we're going to place it back in the fridge for another 10 minutes. Okay, so I've just taken our mold out of the fridge and we're just going to add a second coat just to be on the safe side. So we're going to do a dollop of chocolate in each one. And again, using the brush, just brush inside. Okay, once done, we're just going to place them back in the fridge for another 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so we've just taken our eggs out of the mold. Now, just to join them together, get some more melted chocolate, and we're just going to just paint the outer edges. Then, we just simply place our two halves together, just like so. And we're gonna place this back in the fridge for about 10 minutes. And there we have it, our homemade Easter egg. Now you don't have to use just normal chocolate. The main reason why I like making these ones myself is, is because after Easter, I always have different types of eggs left over. And to be honest, a lot of them are pretty boring. So this way I can melt them down, repurpose them and give them out as gifts. And the best part is nobody's going to know about it too. And when you give them to your friends or keep them for yourself, they're still going to taste simply delish. So they really are very simple to do by recycling your own chocolate and your own molds you can make something completely different and give it away to friends, family, or keep it for yourself. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. Please check the links down below to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please give this video a massive thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.